I can confirm that the initial phase of the generation of the forces, so this uh, uh, force generation conference concluded yesterday. And despite the current relatively difficult context of short timelines, uh, general limitations imposed by the coronavirus crisis, and also uh, domestic procedures by the member states, the vast majority of the member states were able to commit uh, to providing personnel and assets for Operation Irini. That means that uh, it's, uh, the initial phase is over. There is still uh, more work to done in terms of beefing it up with uh, assets and uh, resources, but uh, uh, Operation Irini can be operational as of now. Okay, thank you. Uh, we will continue. Yes, you can have a follow up, Patricia. Go ahead. Thank you. I've heard that the, um, uh, the operation will count only on an Italian vessel at the beginning of the operation. Can you confirm that? And, and uh, it, then in the coming weeks, uh, some other vessels uh, would, would come. Uh, and I would also li like to know if you can give us, um, I don't know, the, the, uh, the amount of assets that will be employed deployed in the operation. Thank you. Thank you. On the details of the operation, I would encourage you from now on to contact the headquarters of the operation in Rome because uh, they have also press office and they will be able to provide you all the um, details about the operation itself. On the first part of your question, uh, actually, it's not really entirely true because at this stage, for the time being, the member states have promised three naval assets and three air assets, and these uh, will be complemented with an additional three naval assets and three air assets in so-called associated support. The associated support means that it's uh, temporarily and uh, they will participate in the mission only for a specific, specified uh, time period. But as I said, regarding the specifics uh, of uh, the operation and the assets, um, it's best to be in touch with the operation headquarters in Rome. Okay, thank you. 